Hey, it's Audrey coming to you from South Texas and uh, got all the kids doing their dinner thing with dad and uh, wanted to come on and chat about oils because they're one of my favorite, very favorite things to talk about. And um, one of the things that I credit one of the biggest transformations in how I take care of myself and my family. And so coming to you and talking to you about oils and teaching you about how to use them um, is something that I'm really passionate about. Uh, I am so grateful to Sarah who first introduced essential oils to me. And I feel like this is uh, in a lot of ways, me paying it forward and, and thanking her for that blessing that um, natural solutions have been for our family. So we've been using essential oils in our family now for almost 10 years. Um, before then, I don't know that I knew what, I knew there was like a hole in how I took care of, of our health. Uh, it was like, I knew I didn't want to run to the doctor for every little thing, but I didn't quite know what I could do at home besides over the counter remedies um, to take care of stuff. Cause I knew when something was up, right. Uh, kids were extra lethargic. They were tugging at their ears. Um, I don't know, just things, you know, you get that mom intuition or something's just not right. Um, maybe some scratchiness in your throat. Um, one of the kids this week had some extra gunk in their eye, like, right. Those kind of little things that you don't want to run to the doctor for every little thing, but how can we support our body in, um, getting back to normal when we notice those imbalances and that's where essential oils and, um, natural solutions have totally changed how we take care of our family. And so in those 10 years, we've only had to escalate to the ER and the urgent care for things that should be urgent, right? Stitches, x-rays, um, those kind of things. So we're, you know, by nipping stuff in the bud and having the right natural tools on hand, um, gosh, I can't imagine how much money we've saved over the years, but also time. Um, I feel like a much more confident parent. Um, and just, I'm able to get over my own struggles, um, you know, with prayer and oils a whole lot faster than I might have, you know, 10 years ago. So with that kind of, let's get going with, you know, what essential oils are and some of my favorite ways to use them. Sound good? Okay. So essential oils are extracts from plants. Um, there's the plant makes these essential oils to protect themselves to, um, it's almost like instructions for the plant to how, for how to repair. Um, and you know, if anything happened, it can also send signals to other plants around it, our animals like saying, Hey, come and eat me because I need to be pollinated or, um, you know, kind of sending instructions like, Hey, I need some space here so I can grow better. So those essential oils are, um, it's chemistry that the plant makes to help it survive. And so because plants are carbon-based, we're carbon-based, our cells can recognize those plants just like food almost and put those instructions to work. And so, um, you know, these plant medicines have been around forever. And now the science is kind of caught up with the mechanism of how everything is, you know, works in our body. And, uh, that's really cool. Uh, I love that knowing the why and the how behind knowing, you know, just intuitively or, or um, seeing something work in, uh, in your life. So we're using essential oils for, uh, emotional support. We're using it for first aid, um, a whole host of things. So, but essential oils have to be natural. Um, anytime you recreate or break apart those, uh, that chemistry that is, you know, whole and entire in nature, you get crazy things happening. Um, you, you probably, you know, um, understand this when you think about, um, I guess, cocaine in the coca plant, um, you know, indigenous peoples or, you know, where, where the coca plant, uh, grows naturally, people would chew those leaves all the time and it kind of give you a slight buzz or whatnot. But when, um, 
when that plant was totally manipulated and uh, extracted and, and reproduced in different ways into cocaine, I mean, that's a completely different monster, right? And so we don't want isolates from the plant. We want the whole thing uh, because there's that balance and safety in nature um, that makes essential oil so great for home use. Okay, so uh, I want to go through some of my very favorite oils. These are the same oils, um, not literally the same bottles, but the same oils that I got started with 10 years ago. And they have served our family so well. And so I want to kind of go through these top 10 oils, um, just show you a couple of uses for each one and why they have become so important in our family. Also, I have here um, coconut oil. When I use all of these essential oils, I'm almost always using it with coconut oil. Um, it helps to make the essential oils work better on your skin because they don't evaporate away as fast. And uh, because we have little ones uh, all the way up to big people and um, sizes uh, and sensitivities um, uh, across the spectrum, I'm able to use essential oils for everyone just in different dilutions. So the baby is getting essential oils too, just more diluted. Um, I have a couple of kids who are bigger, but their skin's more sensitive. So they're using more coconut oil at those times. Okay. All right. So let's start first with the top one, uh, lavender. Most of us have heard or experienced lavender before. This comes um, from the flower and um, has a very, you know, familiar aroma. Um, but I'd say you probably have never experienced pure lavender in this way as an essential oil, if you haven't smelled the doTERRA lavender. Um, we're using lavender for all things calming. So calming emotions, um, soothing bug bites. Um, this is fantastic for helping with sleep. Um, you'll notice that essential oils can be used one of three different ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. And <laughs> hey. Baby girl, I mean, might have to grab her. Um, this one can be used in all three ways. Lavender. <laughs> so lavender, all things calming can be used all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, these are doTERRA essential oils. That means, um, I mean, it's a specific brand. Um, but doTERRA prides themselves in going the extra mile with essential oils. They're sourcing them in places where they grow best. I mean, I'm from Minnesota, and I know that if you tried to make an orange grow in Minnesota, you'd have to amend and amend, and in the final product would have a really sad orange, right? But you go down to Dominican Republic, to Florida, and oranges grow literally on every corner. They they just love it. So going to where essential oils grow best, super important. Um, a lot of these essential oils are being grown in uh, developing countries. And so doTERRA is also making sure that the communities where these essential oils are being produced, everyone's being paid well and on time. And then all those extra things that are super important for well-being, um, proper food, access to water, um, safe environment that's happening too. And then the earth, making sure that all of the uh, farming um, practices are no pesticides, no herbicides, and in an ethical and um, sustainable way. Um, there was an essential oil that we just added called Gaiac wood. And uh, it's uh, I'm the place that it's from, sorry, it's escaping me. But to give you an idea of um, the, to the lengths that doTERRA is going to preserve um, these, these plant materials, um, the guayac wood tree is, they're only taking two trees per acre every two years. And so they're, they're super in tune with um, growth rates of these the plants, um, what is sustainable for that area, 
and how can we make sure that we are being really good stewards of um, the earth? Okay. So that's lavender can use all three ways. You'll see the supplement facts on the side, which say that you can use it internally, just like any other supplement. Um, lavender is our favorite for soothing all things, emotions and physical ailments. Lemon is also one that you can use all three ways. It's bright and fresh, just like you would expect a fresh lemon to be. It comes actually from the peel of the lemon, not the fruit. So it's um, cold pressed uh, to make that essential oil into a bottle. So we're using lemon um, as uh, to brighten mood and emotion. I love diffusing um, lemon. We have a, a diffuser in pretty much every room of the house. Um, we love lemon uh, because you can use it internally. It's great to soothe um, an irritated throat or to kind of um, break up some mucus in your throat. Um, lovely as a tea. So you can heat up some water, add some honey and a couple drops of lemon. We've even used it to flavor our guacamole or um, like frostings and things for desserts. So lemon is fantastic. Um, it makes a wonderful addition to uh, your home cleaners. So if you wanna make like an all-purpose spray, adding lemon is gonna help with um, its cleaning properties. It smells amazing um, and will help to um, keep all of those surfaces safe for everyone in your house. I love that, right? Because my kids are not just handling things daintily. They are putting their mouths on, you know, uh, the glass and the countertops and everything else. So I want to make sure all of that is safe. And so all of my cleaning I know is safe for every which way they're using it. All right. The next oil I want to talk about is peppermint. Peppermint is super fresh and invigorating. Um, and I have a really great story of how we use peppermint in many different ways. Um, it was one of my, I think, very first essential oils after I had gotten my set. Uh, we were going out to dinner and my head, my head, my husband's head was not feeling well. And so he grabbed his, uh, the, the bottle of peppermint and he's dabbing peppermint, you know, on his, his hairline. And um, he's done this. I've done this so many times since then, but it's so soothing. But then we get to the restaurant and one of the kids has an upset stomach and um, <laughs> all I had grabbed was the peppermint. I didn't know any better uh, what else to do. And so I grabbed my phone, has an uh, app on it that helps me to connect essential oils and what they do. Um, I also have a book. And so I was opening it up and here's, wow, I opened up to it. Uh, open up peppermint and it talks about the top uses for essential oils, or you can go the other way around, like upset stomach, which essential oils um, work well to support an upset stomach. And so sure enough, head pain, stomach, both had peppermint uh, listed. And so we were able to use that same peppermint bottle for both ailments which was fantastic. You can't do that with any other over-the-counter thing, right? Like rubbing Pepto-Bismol in your head and I don't know, just like taking a aspirin or something and rubbing it in your stomach, right? It doesn't work that way. But essential oils, because they are so many different constituents um, to help the plant, we can harness all that goodness and use it in all those different ways. Um, those constituents that help with different systems are just going to work as needed on the body. So peppermint is fantastic. It can be used all three ways, aromatically, topically, internally, um, down here in this hot climate in Texas or wherever you are in your summer. Um, so cooling. So I'll add it to like um, a washcloth and put it on the back of our neck or make a, a cooling spray. Um, ladies I work with who are going through menopause love that. So they'll put theirs in the the refrigerator and make a spray. Um, peppermint, very cooling, refreshing, great for um, respiratory support as well. Also good for respiratory support and is named aptly is called Breathe. And so this is a mix of laurel leaf, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, melucca, uh, lemon, cardamom, revensara, and ravensara essential oils. And so this is 
the respiratory blend. Anything, anytime you want to be proactive and support your respiratory health or reactively, you notice something's going on, you want to nip something in the bud, breathe is your go-to. And so this one's best aromatically, breathing it in topically. So putting it on chest, on back um, with little ones, again, using using the coconut oil. Um, a lot of times I'm using breathe on the chest, on the back, bottoms of the feet, and with little ones always under clothes because they're touching everything and rubbing their eyes. And I don't want there to be any um, discomfort there. So um, yeah, that's one we're using a lot in our house. And especially as we're going into um, these winter months. Um, well, it's Texas. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. We have, we have <laughs> things a little bit different down here. Okay. Next essential oil is also a blend. Um, it's called deep blue. And so this one is called the soothing blend. So when you think of this one, think of muscles, joints. Um, this is great. Again, being proactive. If you know you're going to be more active on your feet, doing exercise, uh, or just want extra support for your muscles and joints, use this ahead of time. But you can also, on the flip side, after that activity, um, reactively use Deep Blue. So one of my um, my best customers for Deep Blue, he, um, oh, I just love him. He is uh, a landscaper, and so. He come to me pretty much weekly to get his his ration of deep blue, and uh, tell me all of his um, about his you know work week and how he was putting deep blue to use. But he swore by this, and so if you need muscle and joint support, um, deep blue is fantastic. Also great for head tension, shoulders. When I'm doing um, a lot of baby wearing or nursing and just kind of hunched over a lot of um, my sister keeps deep blue at her office for all of her typing. Um, those kind of things. We're using deep blue a lot. Okay. Five more. Now tea tree, you might know is tea tree or melaleuca. Melaleuca is the um, scientific name, but we're using tea tree a lot in first aid care um, anytime we want something to be cleansing and also help to repair, um, tissues. So tea tree, oh, I've also seen a lot of DIY recipes with tea tree in like soaps. So your DIY, like, um, foaming hand wash or, um, counter sprays. That's also awesome. We had an owie spray that we made with frankincense, tea tree, lavender and coconut oil we would just spray it on and that was also great for um diaper changes when um you know baby was irritated because you didn't have to touch anything right just to spritz it on and that was it um so tea tree is one uh i've heard that the australian um soldiers are actually issued uh tea tree in their uh, first aid kits that it's that well known and that powerful, um, that because that's where it grows uh, indigenously. All right, next oil, the king. Uh, so apt, it's uh, frankincense, and frankincense is an essential oil that has the not the most, but tons of different constituents, but in small amounts, and so. Um, what we use frankincense for a lot is skin care, and then also to kind of like amplify the effects of all the other essential oils. So like I said, I mentioned the, um, the owie spray, it's going to help all those other essential oils that might have very specific uses work that much better. So we're using frankincense and breathe on chest. We're using frankincense and, uh, lavender for soothing, um, also great for helping with uh, inflammation and getting that back to a normal um, normal range. Frankincense, love frankincense, one we use a lot. It's super calming and focusing uh, when you breathe it in. That one you can also use all three ways, topically, aromatically, and internally. Okay, oregano is one that a lot of us are familiar with as an herb, but as an essential oil, super powerful, 
um, can be used all three ways. This is actually my very first experience with essential oils. Um, my friend Sarah brought oregano, some empty gel capsules, and some raw garlic over. Um, she wanted us to help. Uh, she wanted to help us boost our immune systems, and so she got those little empty gel caps, uh, put a couple drops of oregano and some that chopped up raw garlic. Um, both of these things aren't necessarily your favorite flavors, right? But because they pack such a punch for immunity, um, I was all, all for it, but she knew that the empty gel cap delivery would be, um, best. And so we would just take those a couple times a day, um, when uh, there were a lot of, you know, seasonal threats around and we, um, escaped unscathed that whole season. And so now it's kind of like in my back pocket as, all right, when we know that we're exposed to, or going, you know, whatever, there's always germs around, right? We want to boost our immune system, oregano. Um, it's also things that we've used um, for cooking because uh, you can use it internally. Just use sparingly. Um, you dip a toothpick in there and swirl it around, whatever you're making, and just test and test before you put a whole drop in because you don't want to overindulge in oregano in your cooking. All right, two more, and they're both blends. So digest Zen, can you guess what that one's for? Yep, digestive support. So this one is fantastic. Again, proactively where you're wanting, you know, <laughs> you know you're going to Thanksgiving dinner or um, going to maybe a, a new place um, in the country where, you know, you're not sure what their cuisine's like and how that's going to, how your body's going to react to it. Digest Zen. This is also one of my favorites when you're feeling queasy because that's the last time you know, the worst time for having to take anything internally, right? But with digestin, because you can use it aromatically, topically, and internally, you just put a drop on your belly with some coconut oil and it goes to work without having to take anything internally. Um, but that being said, you can take it internally. Um, and also if you put it, a drop in your hand and um, rub your hands together and just breathe in deep, that's my son's favorite way of getting over car sickness. So <laughs> when he was little, poor thing, he didn't know how to tell us. And um, he was our first, so we didn't know what to do for him anyway. But he struggled with this car sickness ever since he was little and still does. So now when he's older, sometimes we he doesn't even have to tell us, you know, he's not feeling well. He'll just ask for the digestion or he has it on his person and he's, you know, going, he's using it in the car. Um, and that is such a proud mom moment, right? Like I didn't have those natural solutions when I was little. And these kids are understanding how their body is feeling and equipped with tools to remedy it, which I think is just fantastic. So digest Zen for all things digestive, such a great tool. Okay. Last but not least on guard. Um, anytime you want to, um, boost your immune system. I know we have the oregano too, but anytime you can have a blend and guess what? You can add them, use them together. You're going to have that many more benefits of all of those different essential oils and their particular benefit to the body. So we're using on guard, um, in teas, we're using it as like throat spray, um, if, if you've seen, um, some of my videos about lymphatic drainage massage and the use of on guard, um, that is my number one, uh, most viewed video because people use it and need it all the time. Um, we're using it in our DIY counter sprays, um, rubbing down like, uh, <laughs> doorknobs and light switches, all the things that we're touching constantly to, you know, boost our immune system, make sure our environment's clean. It has a really beautiful, um, almost Christmas like, um, aroma. It has wild orange, clove, cinnamon leaf, and cinnamon bark, eucalyptus leaf, rosemary leaf. And this one is able to use all three different ways. So internally, aromatically and topically man at love on guard and uh this christmas season is just such a beautiful time to be um boosting your immune system keeping everyone healthy 
Uh, we diffuse it a lot when we have large gatherings just to kind of share the love of, you know, um, keeping everyone healthy. Um, and it's, you know, wonderfully festive as well. So with these 10 oils, with a reference guide and with my coconut oil, um, I feel completely prepared for almost anything that life throws at me. Right. Um, and then with just a little bit of guidance over the years of, okay, I want to be proactive in this situation or more, um, actively involved in our healthcare, like maybe setting a timer for every half an hour and, um, checking in with, all right, how are you feeling? Um, do we need to adjust anything and keeping the body supported, um, with the essential oils when there's an active situation, um, gosh, that has just absolutely changed how we take care of our family. And I would love for you to have these things too. And so the best way I think to help you choose what's best for your family, um, I think this kit is fantastic. We have little bottles and we have the same kit in big bottles. <laughs> that I think is the question for you. Do you want, um, to just kind of dip your toe in and get the sample size, or do you want to go with the full set? Cause you know, you're going to put them to use. I started, like I said, 10 years ago with the sample one, cause I wanted to make sure that we were staying within budget and had, um, a little bit of everything, but I do know that we were a family of six at the time and went through them pretty fast. So if you have the budget to save some money and get the full size bottles, because it's going to be, um, three times as much oil, but less than half or less than twice the price of the, this kit here. So you do what's best for your family. I think the best thing is to get them into your hands because I laugh, the essential oils can't work if you don't open the bottles or if you don't have them with you. <laughs> right. So I, I try to help, help all of the families that I work with um, to get the tools into their home and then help them create a routine and um, comfortable uh, comfort level with the essential oils so that they um, put them to good use. They feel confident and they're teaching the next generation how to take care of themselves, which I think is such a beautiful thing. So let's talk about what's best for your family um, and make sure that you're equipped going into the new year. All right, take care.